isolation. Dr. Shapir, this way. Colonel, uh, what's going on? However, this has done little to curb growing speculation over viral containment and government cover-up. Gentlemen, I'd like to introduce you to Dr. Shapir. It'll be a few days before we recover all the flight data, but we do know they found something. This was the last transmission we received. Talking, we don't know anything for sure. Please calm down. The room is quite dark. Let me have the blindfold. It's too bright. I'm just trying to help. Please. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with him. Clearly, super sensitivity maybe, but his eyes are fine. There are no signs of trauma. Talk screens, labs, all came back negative. Physically, the man is in good health. He's all yours. Hello, Garant. Dr. Shapir, gee whiz, things must be bad. <laughs> How are you, Sydney? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm, I'm just fine. I need to get out of here, Sydney. Oh, come on, Jerry. You know the rules. Standard quarantine procedure. I know, I know. What about a beer? Can you get me a beer? Come on. <laughs> I'll see what I can do. How's Joe? They won't tell me anything. Is he? He's still breathing, if that's what you mean.
What the hell happened up there, Jerry? Nothing. Oh, nothing. Commander Rogers, Temsky, I mean, blindness, Jerry. It, that's not nothing. You found something, this Site D. What was it? I don't want to talk about it. Okay. Tell me about Joe, then. What about him? Anything. I want to talk about Commander Rogers. Why? Any news about my beer? <laughs> I've put in the request. It's on its way. But first, I need you to tell me about Dwight. About what happened to him. We've been through all this. I need to hear it from you, Jerry. Commander, those attacks, they were like overloads, like all his fuses blew. <laughs> Make it stop. Please. I don't know. I took the sleep. He could have been dead already then. No. He died in the sleep. About ten days from Earth. There wasn't anything you could have done, Jerry.
But here, you refer to it as a structure, a construct. Now, that would suggest that you thought it was built by someone or something. Is that what you believe, Jerry? That this was made? Is a seashell made? When you look at a seashell and a ceramic ash tree, could you tell what was made and what for? Or what about a ceramic seashell? Oh, Jerry, yes, as a scientist, I assume you could tell the difference. For Christ's sake, Sydney, don't you see? Rooms, cities, all of that. We are just analogizing, trying to make sense in our own terms, but it's not on our terms. We have no context. Surely you must have some form of hypothesis. Is it so hard to believe that what we found up there was something the human mind is outside of? There is no sense. I can see it now. It's the only thing I can see. When you open your eyes. Jerry, what do you see when you open your eyes? I can't describe it. Please, try. No. It's indescribable. All right. What about when you have your eyes open and you look towards an object you know is there? Your own hand, for instance. What do you see then? A blooming, buzzing confusion. The baby, assailed by eyes, ears, nose, skin, and entrails at once, feels it all as one great, blooming, buzzing confusion. William James. Well, it's not inside, is it, Doctor? I wish you could hear it. It really is most wonderful. Today is New Year's Day, year one. But don't you see? This is the greatest event in all the history of the human race. But we have to go back. The truth must be known. You can't sit in the dark forever. Why can't I? Because you're not blind, Jerry. And Joe is not deaf. If you would just try. You know, I'm positive. What's the point if I'm never going to see things the same again? 
What? Never mind. For Christ's sake, Jerry! You, you've got this unique opportunity just staring you in the face. Sorry, that was a bad choice of words. All right, look, uh, we'll continue this tomorrow. Get some rest. Rest and candia. Rest and candia. It's all like getting this awful place. All right, but on one condition. How'd you feel? Afraid of walking off the edge. Will you open your eyes, Jerry? Jerry, you can't choose blindness. I'm sorry, Jerry. I had no idea. But I had no right, either. If you'd rather I left. You're a good man. It doesn't matter. It doesn't do any good to be a good man. Why? I see you. Hide and seek. I spy. Do you want to know what I see when I open my eyes? When I look towards an object I know is there. A blot. A shadow. An incompleteness. Something completely unimportant. And when you look at yourself? The same. Just the same. A hindrance. A triviality. A blot on the field of vision. If you want a real explanation, go ask Joe. He will act. The ones that hear the voice, they always do, but I refuse. I will not preach. Preach? It... So do you see? That's what that place is. They weren't explorers. They knew the answer, and they wanted us all to know the answer, too. I tried to be a rational man, Sydney, but what good is reason when you can see the truth? I only need open my eyes and I see the... I see the face of God. An alien God? Not a God. God. Eminent and all things, everywhere, forever. The truth, the light, the word, whatever the hell you want to call it. And I would give all my life to see a human face again, to see a tree, a chair, a plain wooden chair.
Due to recent developments, we feel there is no further need to postpone the launch of Site 15. In bringing the launch window forward, we shall have a team back on Mars at Christmas. civilization was a very complicated object and, and i don't mean complicated in just a technological way what if all we had left was one copy of shakespeare's hamlet now let's assume that these archaeologists are not humanoid they don't have books or plays they don't read speak or think as we do what are they to make of this little artifact how are they going to read hamlet that's right life on mars According to Captain Joe Temsky, former astronaut of the controversial Psyche program, he states, and I quote, time has come for the world to know the truth. My next guest joining me to uh, discuss these startling claims is psychiatric consultant and space agency spokesman, Dr. Sidney Shapir. <laughs> Dr. Shapir. Ancient ruins. Alien prophecies? Is this guy nuts? I hope so. Thank you. 